Brought to you by wikivd.com. The, but the Butler is a 2013 American historical drama film directed and produced by Lee Daniels and written by Danny Strong, loosely based on the real life of Eugene Allen. The film stars Forrest Whitaker as Cecil Gaines, an African-American who is a witness of notable political and social events of the 20th century. During his 34-year tenure serving as a White House butler, in addition to Whitaker, the film's all-star cast also features Oprah Winfrey, John Cusack, Jane Fonda, Alex Pettifer, Cuba Gooding Jr., Terence Howard, Lenny Kravitz, James Marsden, David Oyelowo, Vanessa Redgrave, Alan Rickman, Lee F. Schreiber, Robin Williams, Mariah Carey, and Clarence Williams III. It was the last film produced by Laura Ziskin, who died in 2011. The film was theatrically released by the Weinstein Company on August 16, 2013. To mostly positive reviews from critics, grossing over $176 million worldwide against a budget of $30 million. Plot In 2009, an elderly Cecil Gaines recounts his life story while waiting at the White House to meet the newly inaugurated president. In 1926, at the age of seven, Gaines is raised on a cotton plantation in Macon, Georgia. When the farm's owner rapes Cecil's mother, Cecil's father confronts him and is killed. Cecil is taken in by the estate's caretaker, who trains Cecil as a house servant. In 1937, at age 18, Cecil leaves the plantation, desperately hungry. He breaks into a hotel pastry shop. The elderly master servant, Maynard, takes pity on Cecil and gives him a job. Cecil learns advanced serving and interpersonal skills from Maynard, who later recommends Cecil for a position in a Washington, D.C. hotel. While working there, Cecil meets and marries Gloria, and the couple has two sons, Louis and Charlie. In 1957, Cecil is hired by the White House during Dwight D. Eisenhower's administration. White House maitre d'hôtel Freddie Fallows introduces Cecil to head butler Carter Wilson and co-worker James Holloway. Cecil witnesses Eisenhower's reluctance to use troops to enforce school desegregation, then his resolve to uphold the law by racially integrating Little Rock Central High School in Arkansas. Lewis, the elder son, becomes a university student at Fisk University in Tennessee. Although Cecil feels that the South is too volatile, Lewis joins a student program led by Southern Christian Leadership Conference activist James Lawson, which leads to a non-violent sit-in at a segregated diner, where he is arrested. Gloria, who feels that Cecil puts his job ahead of her, descends into alcoholism. In 1961, after John F. Kennedy's inauguration, Lewis and others are attacked by members of the Ku Klux Klan while on a freedom ride to Birmingham, Alabama. Lewis participates in the 1963 Birmingham Children's Crusade, where dogs and water cannons are used to stop the marches, one of the movement's actions which inspires Kennedy to deliver a national address proposing the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Kennedy is later assassinated. His successor, Lyndon B. Johnson, enacts the legislation. As a goodwill gesture, Jackie Kennedy gives Cecil one of the former president's neckties. Lewis participates in the 1965 Selma voting rights movement, which inspires Johnson to demand that Congress enact the landmark Voting Rights Act of 1965. Johnson also gives Cecil a tie bar. In the late 1960s, after civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, Lewis tells his family that he has joined the Black Panthers. Cecil orders Lewis and his girlfriend to leave his house. Lewis is arrested again. Cecil becomes aware of President Richard Nixon's plans to suppress the Black Panthers. Charlie confides to Lewis that he plans to join the war in Vietnam. After enlisting, Charlie is killed and buried at Arlington National Cemetery. When the Black Panthers resort to violence, 
Lewis leaves the organization and returns to college, earning his master's degree in political science and eventually running for a seat in Congress. Although Cecil continues to hold resentment against him, Cecil repeatedly confronts his supervisor at the White House over the unequal pay and career advancement provided to the black White House staff. With President Ronald Reagan's support, Cecil prevails, his reputation growing to the point that he and his wife are invited by the Reagans to be guests. At a state dinner, Cecil becomes uncomfortable with the class divisions in the White House. After witnessing Reagan's refusal to support economic sanctions against apartheid South Africa, Cecil resigns. Gloria agitates for Cecil to mend his relationship with Lewis. Realizing his son's actions are heroic, Cecil joins Lewis. At a protest against South African apartheid, they are arrested and jailed together. In 2008, Gloria dies shortly before Barack Obama is elected as the nation's first African-American president. Two months, two weeks and one day later, Cecil prepares to meet the newly inaugurated president. Wearing the articles he received from Kennedy and Johnson, Stephen W. Rochon approaches Cecil and tells him the president is ready, preparing to show him the way to the Oval Office. Cecil tells him that he knows the way. Car Presidents Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Barack Obama, and civil rights leader Jesse Jackson are depicted in archival footage. Melissa Leo and Orlando Eric Street were cast as First Lady Mamie Eisenhower and Barack Obama, respectively, but did not appear in the finished film. Development Danny Strong's screenplay is inspired by Will Haygood's Washington Post article. A butler well served by this election. The project received initial backing in early 2011, when producers Laura Ziskin and Pam Williams approached Sheila Johnson for help in financing the film. After reading Danny Strong's screenplay, Johnson pitched in her own $2.7 million before getting in several African-American investors. However, Ziskin died from cancer in June 2011. This left director Daniels and producing partner Hilary Shaw to look for further producers on their own. They started with Cassie and Elwes, with whom they were working on The Paperboy. Elwes joined the list of producers and started raising funding for the film. In spring 2012, Icon UK, a British financing and production company, added a $6 million guarantee against foreign pre-sales. Finally the film raised its needed $30 million budget through 41 producers and executive producers, including Earl W. Stafford, Harry I. Martin Jr., Brett Johnson, Michael Finley, and Buddy Patrick. Thereafter, as film production started Weinstein Co. picked up U.S. distribution rights for the film. David Glass at Weinstein Co. Co. called fundraising as an independent film. A story that's a movie within itself. The Weinstein Company acquired the distribution rights for the film after Columbia Pictures put the film in turnaround. The film's title was up for a possible rename due to a motion picture association of America claim from Warner Brothers, which had inherited from the defunct Lubin Company a now lost 1916 silent short film. With the same name, the case was subsequently resolved, with the MPAA granting the Weinstein Company permission to add Daniel's name in front of the title, under the condition that his name was 75% the size of the butler. On July 23, 2013, the distributor unveiled a revised poster displaying the title as Lee Daniels the Butler. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.